All right, let's go to Candace next. I gotta say, you've been pretty patient, and now you're finally in the starting lineup. How does it feel? Feel good, Candace. You know, I'm just glad coaching my teammates are placing their faith in me, to be honest with you. It just shows that all this hard work in the gym is starting to pay off, and now I gotta apply everything and just put it on the court. Hopefully it'll help this team get the win tonight. But was it hard to stay quiet when you weren't getting as much playing time? Honestly, nah. Look, I'm not the type to cause a stink in the media or the locker room. I just put my head down and I go to work. So far, that's worked out pretty well, and hopefully that continues tonight. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to another My Career video. This is not a five days with NBA 2K23, but we drop it. I'm not NBA 2K23. NBA 2K22, but we drop it NBA 2K22 all week because there's five videos remaining. And then we're finally done with this game, even though the next one comes out this week, we're still going to be uploading. So it's okay. It'll get its little five views. <laughs> but here we are, my career. This is the second to last my career video. Got one more. We'll end the week off with this. Start the week off with this. And let's get it, man. Let's go. We are, this is our first game as a starter, and it's against the Brooklyn Nets, my hometown team. Let's get it, man. Brooklyn, this is a rough, a rough game to have your first day as a starter. It is the Brooklyn Nets, you know. 2K is Brooklyn Nets. Kyrie and KD and James Harden still over there. So yeah, it's crazy because I'm not a big fan of any of those guys, but they're on my like, like I said, hometown team. Everybody knows I'm more of a Knicks fan anyway. But look at that beautiful dunk. They do have my boy Blake though, or had my boy Blake. Hopefully Blake Blake get picked up picked up by some team. They go Kyrie, Kyrie gonna take it all the way. Misery, Kyrie scores it. Third of one. I try I try to guard him. He guarded me though. Oh yeah, I'm the point guard. Look at me. Look at that. All the way. All the way. I can be much more effective now because I'm starting. I should get minutes now, right? <laughs> you know they were playing me when it came to minutes. They were playing me. James Harden scores there. I feel like I should finally get some time. Look at I got I got all our points right there. I messed up right there. I forgot all about the damn dunk meter, and I just went for a dunk and was like like there was no meter. I put down. I pushed down. I usually don't push down on dunks, so I don't have to worry about the meter because it's the flash flashy dunk meter or whatever. But if you go upside or the other uh, or left or right, you're good. When I went down on that one for like for no reason. I still hate that the meters on the alley oop. Cause I'm so used to it not being on the alley oop, to the point where like I don't even want to take alley oops no more. But I scored seven of our nine points in the first half or first quarter. Sorry, and I should tell you I should have been starting one. And clearly I'm better starting than off the bench because that whole trying to come in the game and impact it hard wasn't working. I'm a spark plug from the beginning, not the spark plug from the middle. <laughs> take it all the way. Ooh. Joe Harris, get off me. Dang, nobody came to help. They're trying to help me get that uh not to be a turnover, but whatever. They score. They score in the bucket. Oh, beautiful. We about to play. We're down. We're down, but we're still in it, you know? It's not like we're a good team anyway, so whatever. Joe Harris pulled up to no avail. Ooh, dang it. Dang it, man. Dang it. Okay, okay, okay. Who that? Christian Wood takes it all the way. Good job, C. Wood. I take it all the way. Like I said, we're still in it, though. I got 11 points in the first half. That's got to be career high in the first half. Put away, they've been treating me. Dang. James Hard on with the score done. Pass it off to Christian Wood on. Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon is still on that team. That man got to get traded, bro. <laughs> get Eric Gordon to a contender, bro. He just... Worst case scenario for that, man. Dang, how did they just take over like that? 37 we're not in it no more. We're keeping it close, and now it's like blowout territory. Whatever, we got two halves left. We got two half. We got two quarters left. I said two halves left to try to make something happen. Let's see if we can do it. James Harden. 
matching up. They got me at the two or they got me at the one. With Kyrie Irving, you never know. Okay, they got John Wall in. So they got me at the two. I mean, we got John Wall in. James Harden completely just blew past me right there. What in the world? What in the world? Okay, Christian Wood with the ball. Christian, ooh, Christian got blocked. James Harden goes for something. Ooh, KD wide open. Oh, they just went into Brooklyn Nets mode. And we fell into Houston Rockets mode. <laughs> we don't have a next gear. They have a next gear. And they shifted. And we were probably playing on the highest gear to begin the game. Whereas they probably wasn't because they're stepping up and the game is getting out of control. Jalen Green, do something, bro. Do something, bro. Run this play for me, bro. Christian, why did you go? Oh, my God. As soon as I started to run, this man turned his back on the screen. Whatever, bro. You set the screen, switched it up, and it went back for it again. All right, bro. Why'd you do that? Okay. There we go. Right here. Right here, Christian. Uh, who is that? With the ball, was that Tate? Like, bro, what was that, bro? Whatever. Whatever. Bunch of miscommunication. I can't even get a point now. A point guard can't even get the ball because they got other guys running ball handling. Won't even get me the ball to set up something for myself. So I try to use them to send me up, and they stay not doing it. They're not doing it at all. Golly. We down by a lot. What was that, 16 points? Whatever. It could be. I don't know. I don't know, Bath. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be worse, man. It could be worse. It's actually 26 points. I, you know, I did the math in my head. <laughs> We're down 20. It was 26. Golly. End of the third quarter. Oh, my lord. Look at even even the mascot sad. We can't even see his his facial expression doesn't change, but you can still tell he's sad. Go ahead, Shingun. Let's try to do something, bro. Fourteen points, three assists. I'm doing my part. I don't care. KD, I gotta play better defense. <laughs> we gotta play better defense as a team too. Also, I'm gonna take it all the way. I tried to. Still, even with that, they're reaching in. They trying to stop me. They take me out the game. I'm still not playing fourth quarters. I'm still not playing fourth quarters. I'm a starter. We're about to get destroyed. I said, no, if y'all not going to play me the full quarter, don't play me the full quarter. What are y'all putting me back in the game now for? What y'all putting me back in the game now for? Bruh. Had enough of Houston. Houston making me so mad, bro. Houston making me so mad. That's the end of the video. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Comment anything. Watch me on Twitch at ZBlaze3. And I'm out. One. Sorry for keeping you guys. Let's get it going. Yo, Johnny Luck, why don't you start us off? So what was it like to finally start? <laughs> you know, it was it was gratifying, John. Seriously, I'm I'm normally not that big on personal milestones, but this season is really testing me as a player and as a person and I'm just proud of how I responded. You know, I didn't pout or complain. Instead, I just redoubled my efforts and the coaching staff, they took notice and and that feels really good and I think it's translating on the court. So I'm just grateful, man. You really don't seem like the type of person who complains. Do you think that hurts or helps you? You know, my parents, they didn't raise me to whine when things didn't go my way. <laughs> Look, I'm sure I could have sped things up maybe a little bit if I had been more vocal, but that's a fool's errand. You're just drawing unwelcome scrutiny at that point, and you better be noticed for your hard work and be rewarded a little late rather than pushing early for something and not being ready for it. Um, I think that's enough for today. Thank you all. Yeah, MP saying all the right things in public. What did you expect? That's what he's supposed to say. But I'm hearing he wants out. That's right. He wants to be traded. The coach doesn't like him. He doesn't like the coach. So it's no surprise.
really. Plus, he's spoiled. He's used to getting whatever he wants just because people know his face. But it doesn't work like that in the NBA. You got to earn your respect here. If MP thinks a change of scenery is going to solve all his problems, he got another thing coming to him. He's got to learn to respect the game, the basketball guards, or what they call them. There's no shortcuts in this league. Doesn't matter how famous you are off the court. Hey, look, man, we need to talk about this Kendrick Perkins report. What about it? Look, Perk is a big personality, but he's not a straight-up liar, so... Look, I need to know if there's any truth to this. Do you want out? Look, I don't know where he's getting all this from, bro, but I ain't say nothing to nobody. But it's true. I mean, I've been thinking about it, yeah. Well? Well, this, this ain't the first place I want to go to anyway. You know, then you got all that drama, and I'm just starting my career, bro. This, this just don't feel right, man. Like a gut feeling. Yeah. Like, like that feeling you get when you're about to do something so stupid. <laughs> yeah, like when you tried to dunk on your dad in the seventh grade. He fouled me. He didn't. Look, my point is this. I, I feel like that when I think about staying. Bro, I only feel good when I think about leaving. That's, that's the honest truth. So you want out? Yeah. You mad? Mad? Dog, this is your career. No, I'm not mad. And everything you're saying is right on. I mean, you didn't want to go in the first place really hasn't been the best situation, and sounds like you just want a fresh start. I think that's fair. All right, so what we do now? Well, lucky for you, I already made an appointment with your agents. <laughs> I did that when the rumors broke. I figured they were just going to tell you to weather the storm, but I mean, now that you actually want to leave, I guess I'll go with you. Hey, look, we can figure out a strategy. We can get on top of this thing now. Yeah, that's why you pay me. <laughs> may throw you in a little Christmas bonus, too. <laughs> yeah, I won't say no. I appreciate you, Rick. Anytime. Hey, Jess, I have a meeting with Diane today. Of course, she is ready for you. You can go ahead and head up. Okay, great, cool, this way? That's right. Awesome. <laughs> let me look at my schedule for uh, next week and I'll let y'all know. Do you remember when we first met and Ricky asked us about doing things outside the norm? And you said you can make anything work if I ball out. And that was the selling point, Ricky liked that. I mean, I think the exact words were, there's not a vision you have for yourself that we can't make a reality. What do you have, a photographic memory? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Point is, you want to trade, and we can make that happen for you. It just won't be immediate. And as always, the better you ball, the more options you have available to you. Okay, cool. So, so what's next? Well, the first thing we need to do is figure out where you want to play basketball. So I'm going to need your top three destinations. Top three? I thought, I thought I'd just come we're in here and let you... We're just going to poof, make it happen for you. Uh, well, yeah, I mean... All right, look, 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 it's a possibility. We are very good at what we do. We exhaust every avenue to get our clients what we want. But you don't have a no-trade clause. And in reality, people don't always get their first choice. So, yeah, we need you to make a list. Three preferred trade destinations. And then this way, you have a couple of good options. And the team has the flexibility to not feel like they're getting raked over the coals by you guys. MP, you know they don't even have to trade you if you don't want to, right? Yeah, I hear you. That, that sounds fair. Okay. Three's good. I can make that work. I'll make it work. Hey, MP, this is the fun part. Where do you want to go? Awesome. Okay, so, so what now? Well, if you want this to happen quickly, we can be aggressive, but it comes at the cost of more or less ruining the relationship with this front office. So if you can wait a little, we can work a little closer with them to ensure that everyone walks away feeling like a winner. No hard feelings. Honestly, I just gotta get out of here ASAP. I don't know, it's like the longer I'm here, something gotta give, that's what I'm trying to say. Something gotta give. Okay, so we put on the full court press. Yes. Okay, what that look like? We negotiate through the media, leak your list of preferred trade destinations, and you got to make it a problem that you're still on the roster. You you talking about the Jimmy Butler experience. You know I am. <laughs> Does it hurt your image in the short term? It's minimal. Yeah, maybe, but that's only if you're trying to be the goody two-shoes type. You went out, so that's yeah. not even an issue. Not, not everyone's going to love you in this life, so you might as well get used to it now. So I want to go the no hard feelings route. Okay. You know, this is a business, and we need to see the long game. Yeah. I just don't know if this is the right decision for my future, but 
If you're comfortable waiting for a solid trade package to take shape, then that's the route we take. And we're still gonna get you someplace totally acceptable. It's just gonna take a little time. Cool. So how do we spin this narrative? You know, the press they go be all over this. You can acknowledge a desire to be traded, MP. We don't need you to hide that. Mm -hmm. But you can't get specific. Don't talk about where you want to go, for right. instance. That'll dry up the trade market for you and make you an enemy in Harvey Lesser real quick. I see. So what are we thinking? Look, ladies, I got to get out of here, like, yesterday. Great. Then we take it public. No hesitation. Don't be surprised if your list of trade destinations gets leaked in the next couple of days, okay? Yep. In the meantime, go relax. We're going to take care of it for you. Copy that. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank I'll you. see you soon. Yeah. Take care, MP. Time to get on the phone. MP, how are you? I'm doing good. Yeah. How you doing? Great. Thanks for stopping by. What do we stand on endorsements? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Okay, great. What else can I do for you today? Hey, look, thank you for everything, Kristen, yeah. but I'm about to head out, okay? Don't mention it. Say hi to Ricky for me, okay? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'll right. see you. Bye. Thank you.